And welcome to uh, Hometown Heroes. And today we are really, really excited uh, about this hometown hero. Uh, my wife, Stevie, I don't know what she would do without Walden's Puddle. Uh, she's, she drives all the way up on the other side of town from Franklin to take all her critters. Uh, and I, I could never imagine that there would be a place that would take in a wounded possum. <laughs> But there is, and we are honored and thrilled and pleased to have you folks here this morning, Lane and, and, and Emily. And Emily, you, you nominated Lane. And, and tell us a little bit about Walden's Puddle. Walden's Puddle is a wildlife refuge. It's the only one in Middle Tennessee. And if it wasn't for Lane Brody, there would be no Walden's Puddle. It was going down the tubes, and she stepped in and has saved it and has taken it to new heights. And we're so <laughs> delighted and so appreciative of everything. Thank you, you so much. You deserve everything that you get. You are so sweet, and, and I couldn't have done it without your support. This woman supported me in the beginning when it was very frightening because not generally where I come from. I'm a recording artist, as you know, so to step into something like this was uh, was frightening but you gave me a lot of confidence and you really talked with me through my my fears and and I moved forward and carried on and she's still there she's an advisor to our, our on board so, so Lane what did, where did your love for animals where did that come from well two things my entire life it was animals and singing music and singing singing and animals <laughs> and always rescued animals when I was on tour and still still do every day you know it just um, depends on the particular day sometimes it's domestic sometimes it's wild and then um, by the grace of God, my work kind of traveled into working with veterans, which I do a lot of that work in servitude, and to just whatever the need is. And Walden's Puddle was in need, and I, I couldn't let it go. Some people said to let it die because it was in so much trouble. There was so much uh, neglect and abuse and misconduct. And, and so I said my prayers, dear Lord, give me the strength, you know, and went in and uh, I serve him. I just kind of get up every day and do his will and I watch the miracles happen and it's really been one after another. So it's a, it's a joy and I do it in servitude. I do not get paid to do it and um, set that example so that hopefully when I say to somebody, please help us and support us, that I'm not asking something that I'm not willing to do myself on a daily basis including getting on my knees and scrubbing, which See, <laughs> often is the case in doing laundry. <laughs> that's, a, that's a hero. Aww. That's what the hometown heroes do. They, 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 it's, it's a labor of love. It is. And, and you know, Stevie yeah. and I were up there a few weeks ago, and you had a fire. Yeah, we did. And things were, I mean, they were in a shambles up yes. there when we were there. The, everything was kind of thrown out in the yard trying to get things <sighs> back organized. How's yeah. it going? Yes. It's, it's going slow, slower than what we like, but it's coming along. And, you know, when it happened, it was very frightening. It was, I got the call at 3 in the morning, and uh, they said there was smoke. So as soon as I knew there was smoke, I knew we were going to have casualties because smoke is not good, especially for songbirds. And we did have casualties. We had about 75 that um, uh, perished from the smoke inhalation. But I was praying the whole way there, and I just said, Dear Lord, you have a reason for this, and grant me to be strong and be able to do it, and get through it, and keep on fighting and keep on serving. And the it, amazing thing about it was that about six months before, I had changed all of the fire um, uh, order there, the protocol. We only had just normal fire alarms, and so we put in wireless in every single room. And the chief said they did their job, and that's what saved the animals and the entire building. So it was a blessing in, a, in a, how the Lord works. You know, you just have to trust. And so many more people learned about us from this fire that we never knew before. Yeah. So we're just um, grateful for so much support that the, the community stretched out their arms and just supported us and gave us things we need and so yeah it's what's beautiful about the volunteer state in nashville you know it is all oh, you live in the best community in the it world is the best uh, yeah. you know community support around here is amazing, amazing. i i mm -hmm. I'm, i've lived in this county for uh, 45 years mm -hmm. and uh I, they uh, the same way i was sort of i think i may have been a, i think i needed rescued when i moved <laughs> here and uh, and yeah. certainly williamson county and franklin all the people here have been really kind to me through the years too so well we don't we thought we could help you out of course you know we always uh, we always like i'm a driver and you're an entertainer so yes. we all like trophies <laughs> we, yeah, but fun. by the same token <laughs> we uh, we had a check for you to help out with uh, maybe some of the fire damage and getting so back much. on getting back on Thank your feet you and getting much. rolling Thank and you so yes ma'am you're welcome oh this will do so much for yeah. us and, and thank then, you for the nominating me and, and always being there for me always and thank you so much john for has uh, has your trophy animals and, and you can take that back up to uh, 
up to the shelter and show it to the animals. It's and perfect. Say, yeah, look what we got. It's perfect because this is an eagle, and you know we do rescue eagles. We've had several, and there's yes. nothing like um, taking an eagle that has been with us, that has been injured, and allowed us the privilege of serving that eagle to bring him back to their, their health and well-being and to take them out for release and often to see the, the mate there waiting up in the tree and meeting them and <laughs> greeting them. You haven't lived till you've seen something like that. Uh -huh. Anytime you want to come out for a release, please let us know. It's an exciting thing to, to witness. Yeah. Thank you so very much, and God bless you. It's a wonderful thing you do for oh, all of us well, that thank serve. You. We just want to serve and do our part. Thank you. This, this is one of our favorite hometown heroes because of Stevie's, like I said, her passion for, uh, for animals and and uh, and then what you guys do. We share in that. That's, yeah. a, that's our heart. It's, it's, we can't turn our backs and we can't not stop when the need is there. And that's something that makes us really a, a, a really a, a group of very tight knit people because we do care and we will take that time. So thank you for that. And it's yeah. our people that do find the animals that do care and stop. And, and if they didn't, we wouldn't be, you know, Walden's Puddle. And we take in about 3,500 injured and orphan yeah. animals a year of 100 different, uh, 120 wow. different species. And um, that's a lot of, lot of dedicated work by our wonderful staff. And so there's a lot of people, in, when you do this work, it doesn't come um, without a lot of sacrifice. And the, the real sacrifice that I really feel it comes with our staff because they could be doing almost anything. They could be out making a lot more money and they certainly wouldn't be taking so much of the abuse that they have to take with the, the animals and all of the animals are messy. And, yep. But they, they, they are tremendous. We are the only professionally staffed wildlife rehabilitation and education center in Middle Tennessee. So wow. being that we cannot keep wild animals, it's against the law, that if a mother deer, for example, was killed at the side of the road and a fawn was there, that fawn would not be able to make it. That fawn would be put down because it's not allowed. So yeah. that's a wonderful thing for our, our, our community to know that they can rescue that little baby bird or whatever it is and bring it to us. And for our children, because the children, that first experience with animals is a phenomenal experience. And when they come in and they bring a little animal with, well, with their family, we give them a little certificate uh -huh. and let them know that there is a place that does that. And without yeah. that experience, they wouldn't know that we were there. A lot of people still don't know we are are there, yeah. and hopefully more will be. That's we're, what this we're is spread, going. We're spreading Eagle the word. Eagle fly and yeah. spread the word. How, how did, where did the name Walden's? <laughs> Quickly, where did the mm -hmm. name Walden's Puddle come from? Um, Walden's Puddle was founded by Vicki Carter, who was a backyard rehabilitator. And she's a wonderful lady that is now, you know, uh, retired. And we, we keep the tradition strong, and we keep it as a private um, a corporation. In other words, we're independent of anything else. And we, um, we honor her vision. And the board of directors, which we can't do anything without our wonderful board of directors and um, wonderful team of people and our advisors um, all agree with that, that we're keeping Walden's Puddle to the vision of the original founder. I think that's important. Yeah, yeah. I do too. That's so it's, it's, she's an independent wildlife rehabilitator, so, yeah. and it grew and grew. Great. Well, Hopefully thank you. Hopefully keep growing and we'll thank be able so to much. accommodate many more animals and accommodate the need of the community. You got it. Well, it, it, true <laughs> heroes, hometown heroes, doing great work. And uh, we're, we're proud to uh, honor you this morning. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you all. Glory to God. And thank you all so very much. Amen. God bless you. Amen. All right. <laughs> <laughs>